Hello YouTube, this is Puppmaster760 here with a interesting video. This is my sister's room by the way, which explains and she's not here right now. It's the only place I had to dismantle this TV. So it is a uh, Toshiba 40 RF 350U TV. I got the cold right now, but anyway, a Regza it was a really nice TV. Look how thin the border was, but the screen, like, here's the screen itself of the LCD panel. Pretty nifty little neat device, but all on this side of the screen, there's just lines and crap, and it was like, ah, the video board's fried, and the LCD panel's fried, but anyway. I was just wondering, you know, I already know what's inside the LCD panels. I've taken them apart many times. But there's probably a lot of you who haven't seen what's inside an LCD panel. So I'm here to show you today. So we'll start with what's on the back of LCD panels. We have our, uh, I know that they're called an, an LX and Y sustain on a uh, plasma. I don't know what they're called on LCDs, but there's your, um, you got your uh, uh, FPC right and FPC left power um, con connector strips, which carry the information to the. There's a bunch of little semiconductors along the side of this that decode it and uh, send the information into the LCD panel. But anyway, let's start taking it apart. So we need to get off this metal. The metal outside. I've already taken all the screws out of it. I had to use a drill bit on a couple of them because they wouldn't come out. Okay. Let me just set up the camera. Like right here. Okay. Get that. Okay. So it looks like that's the panels. Little semiconductor strips on the side. Four of them on each side. One of them got ripped off over here. Okay, let's start taking off the screen. So we need to get these circuit boards off. Disconnect them. It's like so. Now. See, look, they, they tear so easily. Don't expect to keep your LCD screen panels after doing this. You will destroy them. Okay. That is the actual panel itself. That is the actual panel that creates the image. It's about a millimeter thick. That's what creates the image. Nifty little, nifty little thing. Highly reflective on the side that goes towards the diffuser and mat on the other side all right now here's what these are what are called diffusers and there's a there should be about 40 uh, um, 40 killed cathode um, fluorescent tubes underneath this and there should be about four layers of diffuser so I'm gonna go around and just undo all these little tabs here so I can take off the the screen which is holding all the diffusers in. Okay, we'll just go around the whole thing. Some LCD panels you can't take apart. Some of them are just a mess. I got lucky. Our LCD TV broke down. Our LCD TV burnt out, so... I got lucky and ended up with an interesting one. Pull that off. Okay, and now we're able to take off the diffuser sheets. There's one diffuser sheet. As you can see, it diffuses the light. Really, really good. I'm going to be keeping these and turning them into a halogen diffusers for camera lighting. Then we have another diffuser. 
and this one is actually a, uh, a different material than the other one. This one's actually transparent. Let's see? Transparent and reflective compared to the other one. Then we have another one that's just like the first one. Opaque. Can't see through it. This one diffuses the light a lot more than the first one does. A way more even diffusing. All three of these together smooth out the light into one continuous, like, even layer. And then we have a piece of polycarbonate. Probably polycarbonate. Might be. Might be a... Might be acrylic. I don't know. So we have four diffuser diffusion layers all together because the piece of acrylic or polycarbonate is uh, opaque. Okay, here's the cool part. That is the backlight to an LCD. I don't know, but I think that that's 40 lights. I'm not sure. The, what powers these LCD lights is, I mean, L cold cathode lights is this high voltage power supply back here. I'm probably going to be running this as a camera lighting setup, but the little cold cathode LCD. I mean, wow, why do I keep saying that? Oh, I thought I just broke the tube, but I guess I didn't. As you can see, they're very, very fragile. They contain mercury, so don't break them. Anyway, that's what's inside a LCD panel. LVD lit panels do not have those. That's why they're so much thinner, because they don't need all those diffusing layers. They just have to use LEDs. But anyway, thanks for watching.